Hemophilia is a blood clotting disorder caused by a deficiency of a protein called factor, which is crucial for blood clotting. Bleeding commonly happens spontaneously in the joints and can usually be observed visually, by sensation, or by joint assessment. Bleeding can also be silent and occur without symptoms. These are known as microbleeds. Microbleeds may also be referred to as subclinical bleeds. Microbleeds may not be recognized by physical examination and may not be felt. This makes microbleeds particularly unpredictable. Recurrent clinical and microbleeds are a common cause of pain and can lead to progressive joint deterioration. Two-thirds of people with haemophilia say that pain and joint damage are the symptoms that affect their lives the most. The risk of bleeding and joint pain often imposes limitations in life for many people with haemophilia, even those with mild haemophilia. It may affect all aspects of life, including relationships and one's ability to participate in school or work. An individual's level of protection against bleeds is indicated by factor levels, which represent the amount of clotting factor in the blood. Factor levels also indicate the severity of haemophilia. Factor levels below 1% are regarded as severe haemophilia, and those between 1 and 5% are considered as moderate haemophilia. At these levels, there is a high risk of spontaneous bleeds, joint damage, and pain due to lack of protection. Factor levels between 5 and 40% are considered as mild haemophilia. With levels in this range, a person can still experience spontaneous bleeds and subsequent joint damage. Factor levels above 40% provide increased protection from bleeds, similar to a person without haemophilia. Doctors may refer to this as achieving normalized hemostasis. It is possible to speak to a doctor to better understand factor levels and the impact they may have on daily activities. Normalizing hemostasis can lower the risk of clinical bleeds and microbleeds, reduce pain and improve joint function, allowing people with haemophilia to engage in all sorts of activities. People with haemophilia could pursue opportunities to potentially optimize their overall health and well-being, reducing the impact of haemophilia on everyday life. If you're interested in learning more about haemophilia, have a look at our website or speak to your doctor.